Hey everybody, and welcome back to the adventures of Ren and Rem. Rem is my canine companion, and he is snoozing right now, so it'll just be me. And today we're going to do something a little bit different. We're going to take a look at um, one of my favorite pastimes and hobbies, crocheting. Um, and it's part of my self-care that I like to do. So um, my mom taught me how to crochet, and it's something that uh, she and my sister and I all like to do. We'll get together, we'll hang out with different, um, different size uh, crochet hooks, which is what this is. Um, it's just a plain plastic one. You can get it at any craft store, or Walmart, online. And then um, I like the super soft, uh, pretty blush color. <laughs> yarn um, and so this is what I have today so any um, the thicker the yarn the larger the size hook you're gonna want uh, this is a G size hook so it's a little bit on the smaller side um, and it I probably should be using a slightly larger hook but it's all I had um, on hand and that's okay because we just roll with it so I'm gonna tilt this down so you guys can kind of see what I'm working on and this is a pattern I just found um, and I'm just doing a simple crochet here. So um, I got started a little bit um, That way it wasn't so wobbly when I started teaching you guys So I got a few chains in and a chain is one of these little tiny holes here So you want to start with the crochet hook facing away from you um, Sorry, it's a, a white hook on a on a darker background. So there we go so you can see um, the hook is what grabs the yarn and so you want to start with it away from you and you just kind of want to hold it nice and natural and kind of however is comfortable for you hold the loose yarn um, in your other hand. If you were left handed it would be the opposite. You would hold it like so. Maybe I don't know. I'd have to ask my sister. She's left handed. She would be able to uh, help with that. Um, so what I do is I hold I hold my hook. I hold my, um, my yarn. This is just easier for me. And for this pattern, you're going to loop the yarn over your crochet hook. So it will make one, two loops. And you're going to stick it, stick the hook through the next chain. Okay. So it looks like that, right? You're going to pull the yarn through. So it'll have one, two, three. You'll create one loop down there so I just pulled this yarn through the first loop then you're going to grab the yarn again and pull it through one two loops and then pull it through two more loops so I'll do it again so I'll get a little closer loop your hook stick it through the next chain grab the yarn and pull through now you have three grab that top pull through the base loop and then it's whoops two and two and then you just keep going from there so you'll loop stick it through the chain pull the yarn through creating a base um, knot and then pull through the next two try not to let my fingers block that and then pulling through the top two okay beautiful just like that and then you keep going if for whatever reason it's too loose or it's too tight that's okay you can always undo it and try it again or maybe you skip a chain or whatnot that's fine too the great thing about crochet is that it's just kind of trial and error this was a little bit more of an advanced pattern from somebody who's just learning I definitely recommend a single stitch if that is or maybe even just a double stitch if you're starting out but if you're interested in learning um, little you know additional uh, tips and tricks definitely leave me a comment and I will um, I'll share some more patterns with you so thanks for joining us today on this um, this little uh, self-care video and I can't wait to hear about everybody's crochet journey thanks so much we'll see you next time